All right, uh, returning to educational issues, we've been looking at a range of issues tonight. Uh, also, uh, uniforms, the price of uniforms, always a big issue. The Competition Commission has urged school governing bodies, parents and the community to adhere to guidelines around school uniforms. It says it is ready to prosecute and push for penalties against suppliers and schools that engage in anti-competitive behaviour. To discuss, we're joined by a spokesperson for the Competition uh, Commission and that that is Siabalela Mankunga. Uh, Mankunga. Uh, thank you so much for being with us, Mr. Mankunga. The, this is a, uh, an issue that has been bubbling for years, and I understand there, there was a uh, prosecution or, or guidelines uh, put in place years ago. J just give us some of the background uh, to, to what you're saying this year. Uh, good afternoon, and thank you for having us. Uh, compliments of the new season. Uh, indeed, this is the matter that the Commission has religiously been dealing with uh, from as far back as 2010. And we've been doing this work very closely with the national departments of education, national and provincial departments, basically to provide a clear guideline and framework within which we can strengthen competition, but also we can protect vulnerable uh, consumers being parents, guardians, uh, as well as uh, emerging suppliers who have complained uh, with us for two reasons. And the first reason really was that of the, the, the high cost of procuring and purchasing uniforms. Uh, but also there has been an exclusionary conduct uh, between schools and uh, certain suppliers that were pre-selected. And they have been engaged in what we call evergreen contracts, uh, some of which would span for a period um, exceeding 50 years. And we said, uh, in terms of the competition law, this is not acceptable. Uh, parents had to be protected. Consumers had to be protected. So the commission, in consultation with schools and all relevant stakeholders, including uh, the Department of, Edu of Education, has issued uh, guidelines as well as a joint circular, which basically uh, encourage uh, schools to adhere to uh, conditions which are, are, are competitive and are inclusive in nature. All right. And uh, how many schools and suppliers are not following the guidelines right now, do you believe? Well, uh, we have not had any fundamental survey that would give us numbers, but we have received between the 1st of uh, uh, January to date, we have received one complaint about one school that is not complying. And the commission has committed uh, basically culminating from its advocacy work. We've done extensive advocacy work in this area. We have been engaging with schools. We have been engaging with the department. We have been engaging, as indicated earlier, that we've signed a memoranda of understanding with various school governing bodies uh, with the aim of really uh, mobilizing support because we feel that we cannot do this work alone. We needed to make sure that all stakeholders, as we're calling in our statement, that we need every board to yeah. do their part and ensure that we really realize a, a more inclusive and a more accessible uh, school procurement uh, system. Mm -hmm. So at this stage, we're not able to give you numbers, but we will be doing a survey uh, in a space of three months from now and be able to come back to South Africans and, and, and really uh, uh, name and shame those that seem to undermine the guidelines that are out there. I, I was going to ask, what do you do in that case? Do you give the school a warning? Do you phone them up? Uh, you say that you will actually release the names of those schools not complying in future. Our attitude really has been that of raising awareness and advocating for compliance. Hence, we are bringing everybody aboard. So we will be monitoring schools closely. We're actually planning to do some visits uh, to some schools uh, 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 shortly from, from this interview. Uh, we should also be uh, talking to various uh, stakeholders uh, to establish whether or not there are uh, 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 some schools that are not complying. And we're making a call on parents that this is a societal uh, problem because where there is uh, no competition, where there is a less in competition, there is likely to be a high cost of purchasing of these products. And we're making a, a specific call on principals to actually do two things. One, 
to make sure that they inform parents of the options that they have in terms of purchasing of school uniform, but also to encourage them to sign a pledge with the Competition Commission. This pledge is already available on our website. And this pledge simply says that as school principals will ensure that we adhere by the guidelines that the Commission and the Department of Education have set out for everybody to comply with. Yeah, and those guidelines keep the uniforms as simple as possible as well um, to, to keep costs down and, and you don't have intricate work for the different uh, school uniforms. Then when it comes to the collusion that, that you've mentioned where suppliers work with schools, I understand why the suppliers would want the contract because then they can make all the uniforms for one school and, and keep prices high and get the business still. But what's in it for schools? Why are they working with specific suppliers uh, rather than letting any suppliers supplier make their uniform and and that brings costs down well absolutely the first uh, area which you have also uh, put uh, correctly on these conditions is that of making sure that the school uniform is as generic as possible so as to really enhance its accessibility and that it should be obtained from any other supplier but where there is and uh, uh, basically a need or necessity as uh, 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 decided by the school governing bodies. We are calling for open bids that where schools require one supplier for whatever reason, uh, be it that of ensuring that they want consistency on their corporate ID or it's convenient to parents. But what we are calling for as, as, as the Competition Commission is that there should be an open bid to suppliers uh, so that this would have an impact on the price uh, because where there's one supplier, it is very likely that the cost of purchasing and procurement will escalate. And this is not what we want to see as a commission. We want to protect the vulnerable consumers uh, and customers in this difficult time of the pandemic. All right, thank you very much for your time. I will follow that. Sia Bolela Makunga is saying they will do a survey in future. Uh, spokesperson for the Competition Commission.